right, good morning everyone. If you are over on YouTube, I am talking to a live audience. Hopefully they're alive. I don't know, it is early in the morning. Um, and today we will be doing one of the prompts for the scavenger hunt. The, I think it's the family tree prompt. Yeah, I was laying in bed last night thinking about what I wanted to do for this prompt. Then I had an idea. And it is so full of smart assness. And my aunt will appreciate it. That's the funnier part. We have a joke in the family that my aunt is the crazy aunt and uh and that I'm the crazy niece because she's training me or something like that. I don't know how it all went. Figured we'd work with blue today for the background. I didn't even gesso the paper. I want to see how the Delusions paint reacts with this paper without gesso. Well, hopefully the pain goes away for you soon. And I don't know how much talking I'll be doing today because I woke up and my throat was on fire. Hey, chest. So I don't know if I'm getting the flu that's coming around or if I'm getting sick again or what. So if this stream does not crap out on me today, which blue, the blue that I just got done using, which would be periwinkle blue. But if stream works out okay today, I'm hoping I can stream every Thursday at about the same time. You know, Zandra, you can just find a hunky guy and he can carry you around. I mean, that works too, right? You don't have to walk a lot. Can hire you one. This right here is a dauber. I got them on Amazon. So, because I like spreading the delusions paints with like baby white, but the but sometimes that's a pain in the rear. So I got these to see how they would work out. Just don't tell Eileen. Mm. 
And they came with some, uh, I'll see if I can find the link to it. I'll post it on Twitter later. Um, but they came with some ink pads too, but most of them were dried out, so I just gave them to my daughter. I like using the daubers. Kind of nifty. I do want to try the dauber paints. I think that's that Tim Holtz has out. I think that's him that has those out, but the reviews on them, every review I've read has been about half and half. Some said that they work great. Others said that they're crap and that they dry up and everything. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get a purple or something and try it out. <coughs> ICB. telling you guys you should hire a hunky guy for Zandra and he can carry her around. Hey Kimberly. Holy Oh, this thing holds a lot of paint. Look at all that paint still on it. There you go, Janet. Ask the hunky UPS guy. We used to have a hunky mailman, but I think our route is for mail car carriers in training. So we lo I lost a hunky mailman. I'm sad about that. Crap, I forgot to take brown paint out. Brown coffee. Melted chocolate. We'll see how these work out. try to paint a tree. There was a way of painting leaves that I saw on Google or Pinterest or something a few years ago and I never really quite attempt. Well, yeah, I attempted it once or twice, but see how it works out this time.
what is Vegemite? I keep hearing Vegemite, but I don't know what exactly it is. Other than some sort of spread. What's it made out of, though? Is it like jam or is it like butter or what is it? Interesting. And you can only get it in Australia? Is it like an Australia only thing? Because before you guys, I never heard of it. Well, I, yeah, it was uh, last year that I first heard of it. What did I just do with my paintbrush? I don't think my area sells it. I've never seen it. Sometimes I like to roast my pumpkin in the oven. It's quite yummy actually. But the best way to have pumpkin is to make a pumpkin pie with it and put a lot of whipped cream on it. Hey Mitz. The baby is being sassy today. She is kicking places she should not be kicking. And she's using my bladder as a bed again.
I gotta learn how to make a borscht. I haven't had that since I was in Russia. I miss it though. Very, very yummy soup. In retrospect, I probably should have put the lighter green down first. Oops. What's Milo powder? Milo powder? Milo? I've kind of always been fascinated by, by the different foods that different cultures eat. You know, stuff that I normally wouldn't eat, but they love it. Like, what is it, chocolate covered ants and fried ants or whatever, or monkey brains. Mikey brain tacos? Are you nuts? That's gross. Although too bad that eating monkey brains does not make you smarter because there are a few people that could use a few more brain cells. So it's kind of like your ver our version of um, breakfast essentials or whatever the heck the powder stuff is called. I know you're nuts. That was more of a... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Rhetorical, maybe? Question? But I am fully aware you are nuts, Janet. <laughs> and that's why you're awesome, because you're nuts. Okay, that brush is too small. It's taking too long. Oh, I used to hate the taste of milk when I was growing up. Plus, I, can, I can, shouldn't be drinking milk anyway. But now that I'm an adult, I just love the taste of milk. Every time I had milk as a kid, I had to eat it with a cookie or a peanut butter sandwich or something really sweet. Now I love milk, but milk hates me. It's 
story of my life. It's really weird how some foods that I hated as a kid, I absolutely love as an adult. Yeah. But as a kid, oh, don't put that near me. Nope. No way. Try this quick. Yes, it's for the family tree page. Okay, what did I do with my monster stencils? Because I was going to add one of those. Uh oh, I lost my monsters. Oh no. Where did they go? What did I do with them? I had them. I know I had them. I tweeted that I was on Eileen. Pay attention. Sheesh. Drink some coffee. Okay, well, apparently... I am not using my monster stickers. What did I do with them? I'm pretty sure they're on the table. Oh, you guys, it's going to be one of those days. Here, oh, here, here you go. Like, seriously, I know I have them on the table. I was going to put the uh, monster that's laughing over like in this area, but I will have to do that later apparently. My family tree is full of nuts. If I did an actual family tree, like wrote down all the members of the family, I would need a piece of paper as big as Dee Dee's driveway. some grass to this. Uh, 
Oh, if you guys met my family, you would say, yeah, they're a little nuts. It's, my family is definitely one of a kind. I love my family just for that fact. We may be crazy, but we love each other. Most days, anyway. see that. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit without distorting it. Yeah, that'll have to work, I guess. But I'm just adding some grass to make it a little more arty. You know, if you guys keep bringing up the magicals and shakers, Eileen's gonna is gonna have to let Janet buy them. have it both ways Eileen if you're gonna tell people not to buy stuff then you can't buy stuff that's how that works <laughs> or is it one of those things where you're going by the you can't use it till you own it rule now This page needs something else, but I don't know what. I feel like it needs some birds. But hey, Kia. Maybe I'll have to add a crazy bird instead. Yeah, Crazy Bird by Tim Holtz. Janet, remind him that he still has to send me the emu. Or did his owners finally take him... Take him back? That's a good idea, Colleen. Let's see. Let's find it. Uh, see if I can find the reference photo. You know, or I could draw a squirrel eating a knot. I don't know. Figure it out. But there was another page. 
What do you mean he can't find the emu? What page do I want to work on? Oh, I don't remember, guys. That sassy emu. Where's my pen? I am so discombobulated today, guys. But I think I'm gonna do that doodle prompt. Don't know what I'm gonna doodle, but it's gonna be something. Maybe flowers or something. That's a good question, CB. <coughs> Let's Google it. How long do emus live? Between 10 to 20 years. <coughs> Although it is not uncommon for an emu to be more than 30 years old, particularly when in captivity. Interesting. You learn something new every day. You said it, Janet, not me, but I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> oh, Eileen, you know she loves you. You know, Eileen, if you let Janet buy more stuff, maybe she'd be nice. I'm just taking a wild guess here about that one.
need to look up a photo for a reference because I don't remember how to draw that. Still a funny name, grab a guy. I'm sure Janet wants to grab the hunky UPS guy of hers. I think she should share him with us. But that's just my opinion. I'm trying so hard not to use a pencil for doodling on this because I know I would be erasing 20 million times. This is supposed to be a cartoony looking bird but uh, I don't know what it's going to be now. I kind of drew it a little too big. Yeah, I'll make it into something. I have no idea what it is. Hi, Lori. Yeah, I have no clue what I just drew. page You're for sale, Eileen? Since when? Oh, baby is kicking bladder. Oh, that sassy baby. Mama Judy.
think I have the links open, guys, if you want to enable other people. I'm just going to ignore the links. Yeah, links are open. So go link away. <sighs> what else to do at all? Kind of like that right there. Maybe I should do a bigger one. I guarantee you the circle is not going to come out looking like a circle. Hey, Teresa. <laughs> I can't even trace a straight circle. <laughs> oh, that's really going to be one of those days. the most perfect circle but it'll work what are you doing this weekend Teresa Oh, that's why I asked Teresa. I'm not sure. It really depends on how I'm feeling. But still hoping to stop by and bug you sometime. Paula, bye.
You guys are such enablers. Well, see, I gotta bring the hobby with me, Teresa. That way, he knows I'm not making you up. Because I don't think he believes me that I have an arty friend that's like a few miles away from me. I know that in uh, in March around my birthday, I want to come get you, Teresa, and we can go to Michael's and Hobby Lobby and any other craft store we can find, including Joanne's. I've never been in Joanne's to this day. Oh, there's a cute little... Um, I don't know if you would actually call it a craft store. I think it's a, designed as a place for framing stuff. But there's a little place in Green Bay that uh, sells some art supplies. Haven't been there in a couple of years, but last time I was there, they had like golden products and Liquitex and I think they had Neo colors. They had uh, the single Stabilo pencils. Yes, Teresa, for sure. I don't think my hubby gets it. Does anyone's hubby get their obsession with art? Or is mine just a special case? Yeah, Trade Winds. That's the name of it. I take it you've been there? Well, you see, Eileen, a flamingo snuck into your house. And the flamingo ordered some stuff off of Amazon. That is why it's on your bill. That damn flamingo. You're really lucky, Janet. I would love to have a hobby that gets it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love them and everything, but sometimes it is just so frustrating. I'm going to grab my other Sharpies. I still have no clue what I'm doodling. I'm just going with it. Just going with the flow. Wow. 
Yeah. It's cheaper than therapy. <laughs> Depends on who you ask, CB. <laughs> I'm hoping that for my birthday I can order some art stuff on Amazon. But knowing me, I'll probably put my birthday money towards the BB or some bill or whatever. Because it just kind of seems to happen that way. Hi, Pam. Oh, unless you're in the already crafty world and partake in it, I don't think anyone will ever truly understand our obsession with it. I remember when I first started, it was um, in 2014, I believe. Yeah, 2014. It just had turned 2014, so it was in February. Um, I was waiting for my daughter to get out of school, and I usually got there an hour, hour and a half earlier so I could get a parking spot. And one day I was searching on a list of things to draw. And I came on this website, journal52.com, and so I checked it out, and that's how I got into art journaling. Then I started going on YouTube, you know, researching all this because it was totally new to me. I didn't know what to do. And I ended up finding. Paula in 2015 I think it was and I started watching her videos and then I found Dee Dee through her and I found everyone else through Dee Dee and yeah that was in 2015 As a newbie, I totally thought you guys were all nuts. But then I realized I'm just as nuts as you guys are. Oh, maybe I should make those black. That way the white blue stands out. I've always been into drawing since I was little and in high school I started taking art classes and you know I started being really good at it because I was practicing and then 
I turned 18 and decided it would be a good idea to move out of my parents' house a couple weeks after I turned 18. Yeah, not such a good idea. If I had kept up with kept up with that practice and did it every day like I was doing it when I was in high school, I'd be like really good by now. Not as good as Dee Dee, but I'd be good. I still want to meet every single one of you guys. I swear if I ever win the lottery I'm buying everyone plane tickets and we're all just going to have one big get together. Maybe I should buy a warehouse to go along with that. That way we all have a place to craft in. Maybe I should buy Amazon. I should buy Amazon. If you guys ever won the lottery, what would you do with the money? I know I would pay off my debt first. Pay off the student loans. Pay off the house, pay off the vehicle, and then I would sell this house and buy a house in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by trees and maybe on a lake. There's just something about the water for me. I've always been drawn to it. Lakes, rivers, creeks. It's, I don't know, soothing I guess. I wonder how much it would cost if I bought every single art supply on Amazon enough for everyone. Oh, let's see what else should I put on this page? I can fit one more thing on it. Let's do my husband's favorite cartoon dude.
don't know what my husband's obsession with this Kilroy dude is, but he's got an obsession with him. I want to go to one of Patty's retreats one of these years. Maybe next year. I don't know. Or a couple of years. Save up a good chunk of money because I know that there will be a lot of spending. Oh, excuse me. Oh, crap. I think I'm getting sick again. You guys go quiet or is it just me? I'm sure I could find some hunky guy to pay the bar tab. Electric bill goes up and down chess. Last month it was 125, something like that. This month it's like 155. had my heat on pretty much since like October, September, October. Well, that's what I got for the doodle page. I'll probably add a couple more things later on today, but I'm going to call it quits. I'm not feeling so hot right now. Thanks for coming and thanks for watching. I'm going to stop the recording now.